I'm going to show you how to set up your 7th edition APA style research paper using a Mac computer. The 7th edition of APA has really simplified the paper setup, but it's a little more involved for the title page itself. So first we need to change our font, Times New Roman, 12 point font. Mine's already on 12 point, so I'm just changing it to Times New Roman. Next, we need to make the entire paper double spaced. So up here under format, you can select paragraph. And then under spacing, you'll see line spacing. And that's where you can change it to double spaced. Next, we need to put in our page numbers. So once again, if you go up to the top, you select insert page numbers. We want it to be in the header. We want it to be on the right hand side and we want to show the numbers on all the pages. After that, we're going to do our title page. Uh, the title is in what is called proper title case format, meaning we always capitalize all the major words. The first word of the title is always capitalized. The first word after a colon and any proper noun should be capitalized. The title is going to be centered on the page and it's going to be in bold face font. And we don't want it at the very top. We're going to press return three times to move it down just a little bit. And you're going to write the title of your paper. The title of your paper should be descriptive of what you are going to show uh, your reader in the text of your paper. Next, I'm going to press return twice to add one extra space between the title and my name. I'm going to take off the bold and then you would type your full name next. If you are working with a group to turn this in, then you would write everyone's name after that, and you can alphabetize that by everyone's last name. I'm just gonna leave my name for the moment. Next, you're gonna type the department of whatever department that the course, the paper is being written for. So department of nursing, department of psychology, whatever it is. Uh, after that, you're going to do a comma and then the name of the institution. I did a colon. Next comes the course number and then a colon and then the name of the course itself. After that is your professor's name. You want to <clears throat> spell their name right, so you might want to look this up, and give them the proper title. <clears throat> so if they go by doctor, use doctor rather than professor. After that comes the date for which the, the paper is due. We're going to spell out the month always, and then a, uh, the day, comma, and the year. Uh, that's it for the title of the paper. Next, we're going to go into the text of the paper. I'm going to copy my title because we need to write that one more time down below. So if you do insert page break, it'll take you to the second page. And then if I do command V, I can paste my title at the top centered in bold one more time. To start writing your paper, you're going to move your cursor over to the left hand side and you would tab over to start writing your paper. <clears throat> the last part that you need to format is your reference page. So after you write your paper, once again, you're going to insert a page break to go to a fresh new page, and you're going to title this centered at the top in boldface font, References. After you do that, you can align it back to the left and take off the bold face font, and then you can copy and paste your references in alphabetical order or type them up.